Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Well, now, this programme understands that the former Liberal Party leader David Steele is about to be suspended from his party tonight over the way he handled allegations of child sex abuse by the former MP Cyril Smith. It follows evidence he gave yesterday to the official independent inquiry into child sex abuse. I'm joined now by our political correspondent, Michael Crick. Goodness, what's going on, Michael? Well, bigwigs, senior officials of the Scottish Liberal Democrats are meeting right now uh, to discuss what to do about David Steele. Earlier in the day, they announced they were holding an investigation into the way that Steele handled allegations against the uh, Liberal MP uh, Cyril Smith. Now, uh, already, Joe Swinson, deputy leader of the Liberal Democrats nationally, has called for David Steele to be suspended, and I understand that Vince Cable wants that to happen uh, as well. It's all about uh, allegations made against Cyril Smith in private eye and a local paper in Rochdale in the 1970s. David Steele uh, told the inquiry into child sex abuse yesterday that he put these allegations to Cyril Smith and that Cyril Smith then admitted that they were true. This is how the exchanges went at the inquiry yesterday. He's confessing to you yeah. that he has committed these acts which have been alleged against him. And I'm seeking to understand from you why that was the end of the matter, you being Liberal Party leader at this point, why you did nothing about it. Simply because, as I repeat, he was not an MP at the time, he wasn't even a member of my party, so I didn't feel that I had any locus in the matter at all, but other than being a reader of the magazine. Get that, but you understand the points I'm making. Yes. He could, for all you knew, still be offending against children. That never, I had to admit, that never occurred to me, and, and uh, I, I'm not sure it would occur to me even today. Yeah. And, Michael, interesting evidence heard today at the inquiry. Yes, I'm another famous figure from the 1970s, now exposed as a paedophile, uh, Jimmy Savile. The inquiry heard today from a, a senior Cabinet Office official about how Margaret Thatcher in the 1980s had pressed for Jimmy Savile to be given a knighthood against the advice of her officials who were warning her that Jimmy Savile uh, was a very pres promiscuous sexually and how giving him a knighthood might undermine the government's campaign against AIDS, although at that stage officials didn't seem to know and Thatcher didn't seem to know about his child abuse. Michael Crick.